Hi, so today I would like to talk about project management in a diverse intercultural uh, teams. But first let's start with uh, project management. I mean, in, in project management you have to keep in mind three aspects or three terms. First is goals and objectives, then uh, deadlines and milestones. Let's start with goals and objectives. It's the first thing you start when you want to achieve or to have something by the end of the project. And by setting up goals and objectives, it can be something tangible that you'll have it by the end of the project. Uh, and it can be your vision, so you want to achieve something big. It's intangible, but still it's a goal of your whole project. And then milestones. Milestones are kind of goals, but they are steps that would keep you on track. Whenever you achieve a milestone, you know that you are on the right track. So they will keep you on the way to achieve your ultimate goal by the end of the project. Um, third is deadlines. Deadlines are quite crucial for any uh, project and for the success of the project. If you don't set up the right deadlines, you will end up not finishing the project or not achieving your goals. So deadlines are quite important in project management. Now let's go to or let's discuss the uh, intercultural teams and project management in this environment. In this environment, cultures will come together, will be combined and even collide at some point because of different perspectives and doing, doing uh, things differently. So this is your, your task as a project manager, for example, to deal with those differences and to find the magical combina combination to, to have the, the maximum capacity of everyone's uh, potential. And by the end of the project, everyone will have something different to, to gain, different perspective that he has. And something quite important in this environment, in, in a diverse environment, is to reflect. And this, is, this might come by the end of the project, and many teams, they won't do this. By the end of the project, the whole team has to reflect on what happened, what they did, what, what they could have done better, what they might have done better. And if, if you do this, you will gain something new. If you don't, it, I mean, the project will be successful, but you might not learn, you might not reflect. That's why in those environments, it's crucial for all teams, if they want to learn, to have this reflection phase when everything is settled, when the project is achieved, the goals are achieved. It's, it's important for them, maybe not sitting together, maybe you have to do this self-reflection by yourself in order to learn what was what went great for you, what, what you could have done better. And that is really, I mean, in my, in my personal views, uh, reflections are quite underrated in, in this uh, environment because people would think, okay, we are done with the project, let's, let's keep going with our lives. Sometimes it can be challenging because of the pressure, because of the work overload that they have to go through. But still, I would recommend this phase of reflection by the end of every project management, no matter whether it's domestic or international, intercultural or not. Thank you.